it actually two arrays to merge right so low to mid is one array mid plus one to high is the other array so you actually need three parameters low mid and high take a careful look at this code it is uh, not very difficult to remember um, and it is pretty straightforward actually you're just dividing your merge sort basically into smaller and smaller arrays once you're done with the merge sort part of it you're merging back from the same two sub arrays that you've just sorted so that's all there is to it now let's go back and compile and see what the compiler tells us whether we have made any obvious mistakes along the way okay so the only thing it's telling us is merge is not yet implemented fine we expected that so let's go and implement our merge method so merge int array int low int mid int high okay now merge is the most crucial part of merge sort because in merge we do the two card decks thing where you choose the smaller one from the top of the decks and you merge it into uh, an array of its own right so in merge what we are going to do is we are going to make a temporary array to hold the sorted values and then we are going to copy over the temporary array back into the original array so that the original array gets those elements in sorted order now think about what is going to be the size of the temporary array the size of the temporary array is going to be the sum of the size of the two sub arrays that you're going to sort so suppose there are five cards on one side and three cards on one side when you merge them you'll get eight cards so that's the basic idea so how do you know the size you know that the two sub arrays are going from low to mid and mid plus one to high so basically your merge uh, your temp array is going to start at low and go all the way to high so the size is going to be actually high minus low plus one okay um, this can actually be mathematically proven but i'll leave that as an exercise to the reader that's what a lot of textbooks do and i love that so uh, you guys figure out why this is true high minus low plus one now we have a temporary array now what we need to do is we need to have two uh, <clears throat> two counters or rather two uh, indexes which which point to the beginning of the two sub arrays and then we'll pick the smaller of the two and we'll update the appropriate index so you'll see what's going on so let me call them int uh, let's say left equal to low because the left sub array starts at low and uh, int right equal to mid plus one because the right sub array starts at mid plus one right so and uh, let's make a let's make something called say k equal to zero so k is going to index into the temp array right so the temp ka zeroth element will be one of the either the right or the left element then we take it in then we increment k and so on all right so now what we are going to do is we are going to go into a while loop so we are going to say while left less than or equal to mid <clears throat> and right less than or equal to high okay so two conditions what we are going to do is if array of left is less than array of right which means if the highest element on the left or, or the first element on the left is less than the first element on the right we'll choose that and put it in temp so we'll do temp of k equal to array of left and then we'll increment left <coughs> otherwise we'll choose the element from the right so temp of k equal to array of right and we'll increment right so right is equal to right plus one and finally we'll increment k because we have actually put something in the temp so now we want to put the next thing in the temp all right so at the end of this while loop what is going to happen this while loop is going to break when either the left uh, sub array is completely done or the right sub array is completely done in either of the cases this uh, while loop is going to break right when left becomes greater than mid or when right becomes greater than high this array uh, or or this uh, while loop breaks now the crucial thing is let's say you had five elements on the left side and three elements on the right side 
and let's say you are done with all three elements from the right side so your while loop is ended then what you can guaranteed say is all the elements on the left side are already sorted and are greater than the last value in your temp think about it with the cards example it is true so you can just copy over the remaining elements from that uh, sub array into your temp array so we do a simple check is i less than or equal to mid if uh, sorry not i is is left less than or equal to mid if left is less than or equal to mid that means the while has broken because right is completely done okay so in this case what we do is we copy over the remaining elements so we say while left is less than or equal to mid we say temp of k is equal to array of left left is equal to left plus 1 and k is equal to k plus 1 right simple enough else if right is less than equal to high which means the left side array was completely uh, used up and the right side array is still remaining so we say while right less than equal to high um temp of k is equal to array of right and we say right equal to right plus 1 and we say k equal to k plus 1 okay so at the end of this now in our temp array we should have all the elements completely sorted so what we are going to do is now we are going to copy over the temp array back into the original array so i'll say for int m equal to 0 so now we need to copy over whatever is in temp back into the array into the appropriate position right so we are going to say uh, m equal to 0 m less than temp dot length m plus plus and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to say array of low plus m right because array uh, the array which we are merging in is going to be merged into the array starting at the low position going up to the high position so array of low plus m is equal to temp of m um i hope this part makes sense it's just simply copying over the elements of temp into array at the appropriate position and with that ideally if i have not made a major mess we should be done with merge sort so uh the java c part is fine let's start let's try running it okay so the input array is uh, 56 12 99 345 and the sorted array is minus 3 4 5 12 56 99 so merge sort is working there are some formatting issues with the print statement so let me just uh, fix that um <clears throat> after this for loop let me put a print line and say put some stars just to say that the line has actually ended so i'll do another java c and i'll do another java okay now it's clearer so input array 56129-345 sorted array minus 345 1256.99 perfect it works now one more thing that i would like to do at this stage is um <clears throat> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to print the array after each pass right so what happens let me try and put a print array at uh, this location Okay so we're done with the coding up now it's time to test our code and see whether it does what it's supposed to do okay so let's start with uh, the smallest possible test case so let's have just two arrays uh, two elements 55 and 12 and uh, unfortunately because i've put my array inside my java code i have to recompile every time i want to change the input which is why this is not a very good way of doing things but it is just uh, convenient for me to do it that way Okay so let's take a look now when the input array is 55 and 12 there is only one sort that happens or one uh, switch that happens 12 comes in and 55 goes here and we get the sorted array okay so that it works for an array of size 2 now let's increase the size of the array and make it like size 4 so let's java see it again and uh, 
I'm going to call a merge sort. Okay, so now let's take a look at what happens. So this is our original input array 55, 12, 34, 17. The first sub array that's going to get sorted is the one on the left 12 and 55. Then in the next pass, the sub array on the right is getting sorted. So take a look 17 and 34 got sorted. And then finally, the two are getting merged 12, 17, 34, 55. So this very clearly shows you what merge sort is doing. It's first saying sort the left side, sort the left side until it comes down to just 55 and 12. Then it sw switches them around, right? So we get 12 and 55. Then it says sort the right side, sort the right side until only 34 and 17 are left, switches them around. And then finally it sorts the two sub arrays like 0, 1, the first two elements and the second two elements which are already sorted, it merges them in into the final sorted array. Okay, let's go one level up and let's add a couple of negative numbers and make it an array of size 6. Let's uh, compile it again and uh, let us run it. Okay, so let's see what happens. Now, again, the first smallest sort that's going to happen is on the first two elements. So, 12 and 55 get sorted. That's what we expect. Then remember like I showed you in the animation when it's an array of odd size, right? So 6 will get divided into 3 and 3, which will get divided into 2 and 1, which will get divided into 1, 1, 1. So that's what happened at this stage. 12 and 55 came back. So now we have 12, 55 and 34 on the other side, which gets sorted again. So now we have this sorted subarray, right? So now the uh, left hand side recursion is complete. Now it comes to the right hand side recursion. So it will become first minus 99 and 17 and minus 111 on the other side and then finally the left side or the right side also gets fully sorted in this pass right and then finally in the last pass the entire array gets sucked into one. So this is exactly matching with the animation that I showed you um, just before. So basically uh, these little tests have shown us that merge sort does work at least on the small test cases that we tried it on. Of course, a good program always is accompanied by good tests. So you should write a lot of tests to see whether your methods are all working as they are expected to work. A um, couple of points I wanted to make is that uh, this is not a Java best practice in the sense that the code I've written is probably not the best way you could do it in Java. But the important thing to focus on is the merge sort algorithm. So that's what I have focused on. I've not focused on writing extraordinarily good Java code but extraordinarily good merge sort okay so i hope you understand merge sort it's really simple it just breaks the problem into sub problems by dividing the array and then merges the sorted arrays that you have got into one big sorted array